Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 46, identifying lines of symmetry. Now a line of symmetry divides a shape into two identical halves, so that one half is folded onto the other, the two parts match exactly. We'll use flags of different countries to help us learn about these lines of symmetry. Each country in the world has a different flag. The colors and designs on a country's flag usually have special meaning. So here I have the flags of Indonesia, France, and Thailand. So there's something special about all of these flags, and that that's not true about our flag. Each of these flags can be folded in half so that the two halves match up exactly. So I fold this Indonesian flag in half along this line here. My left and right sides are going to look exactly the same. I have red and white on top on the left and right and white on top on the right. Okay. The French flag I can fold in half this way. Then the top three colors match the bottom three colors if I folded it in half. And then the Thailand flag I can also fold in half in this direction. Oh, excuse me, we fold it in half this way because then the left and right halves look exactly the same. Okay, so the fold line is what we call a line of symmetry. Okay, so France has a horizontal line of symmetry because it's a horizontal line. Indonesia and Thailand have vertical lines of symmetry. All right. So does the American flag have lines of symmetry? So no, it doesn't, because there's no way I can fold this flag so that the top and the bottom look exactly the same. It's because we have these stars here, and the stars make it so that the top half cannot look like the bottom half. All right, so shapes all shapes have some type of a line of symmetry. Well, not all shapes, but a lot of shapes have a line of symmetry. So the first triangle has a horizontal line of symmetry that goes from the top, from the bottom through the point. Okay. This second triangle ends up actually has three lines of symmetry because it's an equilateral triangle. So I can fold it in half all three directions and have it look the same on both sides. A rectangle has two lines of symmetry, vertical and horizontal. A square has four lines of symmetry that I can fold it on. And a circle has infinite lines of symmetry because I can fold a circle any way and it'll look the same on one side as it does on the other side. All right, and that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.